Hey, welcome back again to Learning Account Podcast, Episode 2. This is Control Accounts, Set Off and Contra. So I said I'd do a podcast on this particular area of Control Accounts. Uh, let's, let's just go through a quick example. Um, let's look at what Set Off and Contra actually means. So Set Off Entries or Contra Entries, they arise if a business sells goods to and also buys goods from the same trader, so the same person. So here's an example of P. Claire as the um, individual here. We sell, so our business, we sell to P. Claire uh, as value of £300. We also purchase goods valued at £400 from P. Claire. So there's an element of a debtor and element of a creditor there. Um, we sell to P. Claire, value £3. So P. Claire is buying from our business. So P. Claire in that transaction is a debtor. When we buy from P. Claire for £400, then P. Claire becomes our creditor. Okay, so let's look at this in that information in the uh, ledger. Both ledgers with the sales ledger and with the purchase ledger. So P. Claire will go into both. Let's start off by uh, putting in the sale. So the sale during the year increase debtors uh, in P. Claire's account. Uh, who's the debtor? So that's a debit tree of three hundred pounds, and then let's record the our purchase uh, from P. Claire. So we've purchased four hundred pounds. That's a credit entry in P. Claire's account in the purchase ledger because uh, we are liable to pay P. Claire four hundred pounds. Okay. Now, if we think about this, what does it mean? It means that P. Claire would have to pay us three hundred pounds payment, and then. At some point, and then we would pay pay P. Claire a payment of four hundred pounds. Well, if you think about that in in pairs and with two people, there is a way of netting off the ounce instead of actually paying someone three hundred pounds for that give you four hundred pounds back. You can see there's a difference of hundred pounds somewhere. Let's see how we do this. And in accounting, we try and streamline uh, transactions to to avoid making multiple transactions because the more transactions you have, the more risk there is of making errors. So if we can reduce two transactions into one, um, obviously agreeing to accounting concepts, then we will do so. So this is the, the two boxes there, boxes. This is now the um, offsetting. So the rule in for revision, the rule for setting off contra entries, um, I suppose this mainly relates to um, OCR, I think, OCR mainly, uh, is we use the lower value. What is the lower value? So the £300 we're going to use in this case. So £300 is going to be credited to Pickler's account, and that closes off Pickler's account, because she, she in, in as it's showing there, it's not showing she's paying money, but we're using this setting off contra. So we credit £300 to Pickler's um, account in the sales ledger, and therefore, corresponding debit entry in the purchase ledger in P. Claire's account. Um, obviously, note there the, the details, set off purchases and set off sales. And that's her contra of £300. And what is the effect on the ledgers? I've just said the sales ledger is closed off, it's balanced. So that means P. Claire does not owe us any money. And what's the effect of that on the purchase ledger? Well, as you can see, it needs balancing off. But for, for, for this example, um, we're going to actually record the a payment, the, the only payment that needs to be made in this case. So if you look at P. Claire, we owe P. Claire £400 with the contra of the £300 offsetting, then the difference is only £100, and that obviously we could pay by cash book. If I'd say cash book there, we've paid, we've paid P. Claire by cheque. Now that is us that is paying P. Claire. And that's proved by the entries. We've just made an entry there. That was an entry in the purchase ledger, debit entry. So that's a credit entry in the bank. And a credit entry in the bank or the cash book, bank in the cash book um, account, uh, means a reduction in assets. So that, that shows that we are reducing assets. And in, in this account here, the debit entry in the purchase ledger is a reduction in liabilities. We just total those off, and that as well as the account closed off. Well, I want to thank you for stopping by and watching this podcast. Again, my email address is there and obviously my member ID on student, uh, student rooms and obviously the YouTube link just for reference. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.